Мы видим, что целостность Украины баронят десятки белорусских доброхвотников, а лияны – не один из замежники, которые по властной воле и бесплатно воюют на боку нашей поудневой соседки на Донбассе. С большей гаяны профессийные войсковцы, чей досвет мощно допомогает на этой гибридной войне. Мой коллега Антос Тележников поразмовлял с Беном Фишером, австрийцем тунисского походжения, который баронит Украину. Откуль твои батьки? Моя мать из Тунисии. Ты мог бы ты расповести про себя? One very yeah, chaos situation in Battalion Donbass. I left to the war in Syria and Iraq against ISIS. Was fighting with the Kurds. Чему ты приехал сюда? It's Ukraine territory, yes. And they come in Ukraine territory and make your war. So I have no connections before to Ukraine. I'm, my mother, father is not Ukrainian. I don't know anything before about Ukraine. I just see the fact Russia is sponsoring any people with guns, tanks, everything, and trying to get Ukraine territory and destroy of innocent people life, you know? So other reason is also, I don't like Russians, yes. I mean not Russian people, you know, I mean Russian politic. Yeah, they, they do that game in, in many countries and in, in Western countries we don't know much about these games. You know? Like in Moldavia, Chechnya, uh, Georgia. I was in army, I did not see my position in civil life. I see there is wars going on. And if you decide to go there as a volunteer in a war, you think about who is good, who is the bad man. Yeah? So I decided to go on Ukrainian side and I cannot join the Ukraine army. А что на конт правого сектору? Российская пропаганда кажа, что люди оттуль фашистовцы. You can see here on this flag, yes, if you see it, um, we have here the symbol of, yeah, of a Nazi fascist time and we're just doing such things because they are making this stupid propaganda that we are Nazis and we're just joking about it because it's it's stupid what they say that we are Nazi fascists and I think I don't look like a Nazi fascist you know and right sector has absolutely no Nazi fascist. Тиранией ты был у австрийской армии. Yes, I was in Austrian army for four years. Yeah. Mountain infantry. Yeah. The Ukraine army is also honestly shit. Yes, they have no training, no structure. They just get like a piece of meat, their gun, and go to the front. Yes, and in our organization, it's the same problem. We have many people who are motivated, want to fight for their country, but you know, you cannot fly a, a plane if you are not a pilot, yes. So for me, for him, if he was before an army, if he was infantry, it's it's very helpful, yes. Because you you know your system, you know your work, you just need to learn. The other guns here and Soviet guns are not very difficult. Что ты думаешь про замежников, которые воюют за сепаратистов? In DNR, LNR, I know there is many people from other countries, many from Europe, America. We have there mm, Chechens, you know, which got fucked up by Russia. And the difference is, I don't get paid, you know, but they get a lot of money. They're just evil people. That's it. They they don't have the idea like we. They just come and do their job for money. Mercenary. We are not mercenaries. We are volunteers. Ти ти можеш вернутися у Австрію? I can go home. I think you know some people have done questions for me. Yeah, I don't care. 
If they want to punish me, they can punish me, you know. We have people in Austria, they go fight for ISIS, they come back and nothing happened with them. If I fight for a country which is in this situation like Ukraine and they see me as a terrorist, yeah, then I'm a terrorist, please, you know, it's not a problem. Austria is not a really... Mm, it's not like Belarus, you know, where police and government can destroy your life so easy. We have a normal law, rights, can talk about things, yeah. Какие у тебя планы на будущее? Ти ты хочешь остаться тут? Ти як? You know, I hate this shit with Minsk. I cannot understand this because but in the beginning I could not understand it. Now now I understand it. It's it's a fucking game, yeah. And it's making me very tired if we fight here without result, you know. You sit at the front like a piece of meat because it's still the Kiev politic who say how will look the war, you know, and they don't go forward. So we just sit there and get shot and maybe lose more territory. It's making me very tired. Right sector has, I think it's not very secret that maybe there will be a second revolution. And I think that's needed because otherwise it will not change at the front. It will not, it will Ukraine make more worse. You know. But I'm just one man, you know. If Ukraine don't want to change and this war will become like, you know, North Ossetia, Abkhazia, Moldavia, yeah, then I think I just waste my time and will go maybe in another war you know, where people want to fight and change things. Mm. It's not about I like to kill people. I like to do my job, which is needed. War was always in history, will be always. Soldiers are needed. People are needed who want to fight against problems. There will be no peace, you know.